Putting hearing aids into glasses is kind of genius. Hey guys, welcome back to the Dr. Cliff AUD vlog. This is vlog number 187, and today I wanna to talk to you about my recent trip to Italy. But before I get into it, if you could do me a huge favor, click that like button, it really helps out the channel. And if you are not yet subscribed to the channel with notifications turned on, go ahead and do that as well, so you get notified every single time I publish a new video like this one. With that out of the way, I greatly appreciate it. Now let's talk about this trip, and what was the purpose of this trip? So a couple of months ago, a company called Excelsior Luxottica reached out to me and they actually reached out to several other you know, uh, influencers in the industry as well as other media outlets in the industry, um, you know, people who are really you know, ingrained in the culture of hearing aids as well as in the development of hearing aids and reviewing of hearing aids. And uh, they reached out to me as one of those individuals a couple of months ago, and it just so happened that I had my trip to South Africa planned at around the same time that they were having people out to Milan, Italy. And so at the time I had to decline, and, um, but it just so happened that you know with the Labor Day weekend, I was able to get a little bit of extra time to actually travel out to Italy. Now, you're probably wondering, well, what the heck were you even doing with that? And it turns out that they're working on a pair of eyeglass hearing aids. Now, if you're familiar with the history of hearing aids to any degree, you may already know that there were eyeglass hearing aids back in the day. Um, these were big clunky looking glasses with uh, you know, analog BTE hearing aids basically affixed to the essentially the frames of the, the eyeglasses and they had you know, custom ear molds that came down with tubes that went into your ears. There was you know, a lot of issues with them because if you end up having an issue with your glasses then you basically lose your hearing aids when you need your glasses repaired. And if you have an issue with the hearing aids, you lose your eyeglasses so you don't get any vision at the same time. So it was, it was a very clunky type of model. So it had me skeptical right off the bat. But the thing that I was excited about is that this particular company is doing what I think all hearing aid manufacturers should do, which is ask my opinion on what they're doing with their technology and tell them if it's good or not, if tell them if consumers would actually use it, what features they would like to, that consumers would like to have inside of these devices, because I have a unique ability to hear what you guys want because you tell me all the time in the comment section, and then I'm able to basically take that information and share it with companies. Um, and the way it typically works right now is that companies basically have engineers that just work on their products and then they say, hey Cliff, here's what we came up with, please talk about it on your channel. And I'm like, well, some of these features are stupid and consumers don't want them. And some features are amazing, don't get me wrong, but you know, I just feel like more companies should reach out to you know, uh, people who have insight as to what consumers actually want to be able to do with their hearing aids. And so I, I was kind of hesitant to go at first because I don't like traveling just to travel. Um, I want that trip to be productive. And so I was kind of on the fence at whether or not they were actually gonna listen to my opinion on their technology, so on and so forth. But at the end of the day, I was like, well, you know, this is a pretty big company. Um, they basically dominate the eyeglass frame market. So any name brand frame that you can think of is pretty much a brand that is owned by this particular company. And so I figured if any company had the resources and the talent to accomplish this tall task of creating a pair of eyeglasses that are also a combination of eyeglasses and hearing aids, and particularly in this case, over-the-counter hearing aids, I figured that this was the company that would be able to do it. So we ended up booking the ticket, ended up flying out there, had to go without Ashley this time, unfortunately, because she had to stay back and take care of our dog, who's diabetic and blind and can't hear, ironically. Um, but uh, so I had the chance to go and right off the bat, the thing that I noticed was is that the, the team members that they were working with, so here's a very interesting thing. They didn't have an ego. Um, not saying that I thought that they would, but when it comes down to um, a lot of people who are creating something new, I think a lot of them think that their product is better than what it actually is. And so I, you know, a lot of times it, when I get reached out to by over, other over-the-counter hearing aid companies, they say, hey, you know, our technology is so awesome. Here's what it's capable of doing. You know, it's affordable, it's accessible, it, like all that stuff, right? But 
this was really interesting because, and I don't know if it's an Italian thing or whatnot, but their perspective was along the lines of like, here's what our product does, what could we do to make it better? What is the thing that you would need to see inside of these devices to make them a good product for consumers? And then let's test it, like wear it, tell us what you truly think. And you know, as we got into um, essentially a review, it's kind of like an early stage review because right now they're still working with prototypes and they just announced this, you know, a couple of weeks ago, basically, um, that it finally came out that they're developing this type of tech and I've seen some ads, you know, very basic ads come out on LinkedIn already, but they, they wanted my insight as to how good this particular product was to basically let me know which direction they're going in, if I think that it would be a successful product and for what reasons and if I felt that there was any flaws to it, what were those? And I have to say that initially, this product is, I think, going to be a game changer. And I think it's gonna be a game changer in terms of what it allows you to do in a background noise situation, as well as reducing the stigma surrounding hearing aids. So as much as I hate to admit it, there still is a little bit of a stigma. Now, I'm not sure really what is causing the stigma, but there, there is a stigma to some degree uh, where some people do not want to wear hearing aids. Now that stigma is starting to get less and less as time goes on. The way that hearing aids are performing nowadays, how invisible they are nowadays, I mean, it's, it's really hard to find someone who is not willing to wear at least one of the different styles of hearing aids that exist out there because when you start looking at like Lyric extended wear hearing aids, those are so far inside your ear canal that no one can see them even if they're looking inside your ear. So to some degree, the stigma has been beaten with in completely invisible hearing aids. But this is a totally different concept. First and foremost, there, it, it's crazy how they work. And these are not them. I'm just using these as kind of like a prop um, for basically what I'm talking about. But if these you know, were a pair of the eyeglass hearing aids that I'm talking about here, and if I put them on, if these allowed me to better separate speech from background noise and actually hear better as an over-the-counter type hearing aid, you would have no clue that I'm actually using any type of device, right? And I think that's what's so interesting about it is just the way that it is designed, especially by a company who cares about fashion and cares about what their actual products look like. And they want to make sure that these eyeglass hearing aids are something that you wouldn't know are actually hearing aids. And when you look at this company, one of the brands that they own is Ray-Ban. And they have their Ray-Ban Stories glasses. And those Ray-Ban Stories glasses, and you can go Google them right now if you're in, after the vlog, but you can go Google them. And you can see that they actually have cameras built into the frames and they have speakers built in to the frames as well. So you can like listen to streamed audio and stuff like that. And it's, it's pretty ingenious on in how they did it. And they are a little bit larger glasses, but they're not like so large that when you look at someone wearing them, you would be like, oh man, like why are you wearing those weird looking glasses? They look totally normal when they're being worn. And I think that if this particular company can really take some of, maybe some of the negatives here and fix them. So I can tell you that um, with any hearing aid, battery life is a challenge when you're talking about using rechargeable lithium technology. I do think that lithium batteries are gonna have to get better for hearing aid companies to truly maximize and optimize what they're trying to do with their devices. And this particular company is no different. They're gonna have to get better battery life. But I can tell you, I went to dinner wearing just the prototypes that they had. And initially I was kind of like, ah, I don't know if I'd use these, but we were like an hour into the dinner and I was still wearing them. And I'm, and I'm the type of person, I love AB comparisons. So I was taking the glasses, I was taking them off and I'm like, okay, this is what it sounds like without the glasses. And we were in a noisy restaurant and then I put them back on. I'm like, okay, okay, yeah, hear the difference. I hear the difference, take them off, okay, yeah. Uh, and so I basically was doing that consistently, but then it got to a point where maybe 30 minutes into the dinner, I didn't even take them off anymore. I just left them on because I was like, I truly actually enjoy wearing these eyeglass hearing aids during dinner because I felt like the person that I was facing, I could hear their speech substantially better to the point where it was worth it looking like a goofball wearing these prototype eyeglasses. Um, there was some you know, tables of people around us. Periodically, they would look over at me and I'm like, okay, well, either I'm talking really loud, uh, which I do, um, or they think I look goofy wearing these prototype glasses. But the important point here is, is that 
is ridiculous as I looked, <laughs> I was okay with it because I was like, man, I can hear better in this noisy situation wearing these particular eyeglass hearing aids. And so it just got me thinking like, man, how many people, you know, cause that's like the holy grail. People wanna hear better in background noise. I don't care if you have a mild hearing loss. I don't care if you have a profound hearing loss. Like that's a goal of everybody. So if there was a product out there that actually allowed you to do that better, and I would argue even quote unquote, normal hearing people who wanna hear better in background noise, I think that this particular product would actually benefit them. Now, I still think it's a while before we're gonna see these hit the market. Um, I don't think it's as long as you may be thinking. Um, I don't wanna give away any too much insider information here, but I think that when this product releases, if they truly um, take the feedback that I've given them and the feedback that I will continue to give them as, I, as likely they're gonna ask me to consistently review where they're at with the development of this particular piece of technology, I think that this has uh, the ability to completely change the hearing aid industry as we see it. And I am greatly looking forward to it. So if you think that it'd be cool to have eyeglasses like this that also act as over-the-counter hearing aids that perform really well in background noise, if you're interested, let me know down in the description because I would really like your feedback. And I would actually, um, because here's the thing, I can literally tell them what I think they should be doing with this. So if you think there'd be a certain feature or capability that would be really cool with these eyeglass hearing aids, tell me because I can promise you that information will get back to the company uh, and all the engineers who are working to develop this tech. But I've got to tell you, if you can't tell based on this video right now, I am really excited about this because I think that they're going to be able to do something with these glasses that has not been able to be replicated by other companies with just behind the ear or in the ear hearing aids, unless you're using some kind of a remote listening device um, and using it optimally. So. Let me know your feedback. Give it a thumbs up in this video if you are excited about the potential of using eyeglass hearing aids. And of course, I will see you next week.